What is going on guys? Today we're looking at the 2017 Audi Q5. This Audi has two sized engines, either a 2 liter displacement or a 3 liter displacement. The 2 liter is a 4 cylinder and the 3 liter is a 6 cylinder. But before we get started, head down, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification to get notified of any new videos I do. I do how-to videos, car reviews, engine reviews, and various sorts of videos. If you didn't go over and see my car review on the 2017 Audi Q5, go ahead and into the description. I'll leave a link in the description where you can watch that video. So the engine we're looking at today in the Audi, again, is the 2 liter displacement with 4 cylinders. It's the TFSI, which basically is Audi's version of the direct injection fuel injection system. Sort of similar to the EcoBoost on the Ford models. So you can see it's a pretty basic engine, nothing real special. We'll, uh, we'll get into the particulars here in a moment. So we'll just uh, hit some of these things on the surface. We have the coolant fluid reservoir with the overflow line. It's also a max and a minimum markers there. So you make sure you uh, put the proper amount of fluid in. We have the radiator here in the front. We're looking down here. We see the upper and the lower radiator hoses. Here's the upper radiator hose, quite long radiator hose. We come over here to the left, see if we can see the, the uh, lower. However, they're both on the same side, and if the lighting uh, proves itself, you can see the lower down there in the bottom corner. You also see the radiator fans here on the front. And we look down here and get a better shot at the lower radiator hose. So let's move on here. Let's uh, look at the air intake system, the beginning of it. The air filter box is located way down here under the headlight, kind of behind it. You see that orange connector clip, that's the mass airflow sensor. Eventually that tube heads into the throttle body. So here we got the anti-lock brake system module with the two lines coming from the reservoir and the four going to the brake calipers. Here, here we have part of the air conditioning system. We have the high pressure and the low pressure ports here with these black little knobs. That, the low pressure port is where you add any refrigerant if you need to add any. Here we uh, take a peek here on the back of the firewall. We see we have a little tube here. This is probably part of either the vacuum system. And uh, here's the radiator, part of the radiator tubes uh, going to your heater system. Here's probably another vacuum line. If you guys uh, know the exact name or I get anything wrong like all my engine reviews head down into the comments and uh, and let me know and we can uh, learn together so here is two lines here going to another uh, air intake system so at first I was kind of confused and wondering why this engine had two air intake systems but I remembered that this is a German made car and this system right here over on the left the air intake system is the secondary air injection system this connects to the exhaust manifold right before the catalytic converter. You see that brown cylindrical uh, thing right there? That's the catalytic converter with the oxygen sensor on it. That just allows the air to burn cleaner as it heads out through the exhaust. Here we have a, uh, a real compact engine design here, and we're going to look at a couple of the components on it. Again, this is the 2-liter displacement with a 4-cylinder. Here we have the air intake manifold. Not too, uh, nothing too fancy about it, real basic. Here we have the throttle body and a couple uh, components on the throttle body. We have the throttle body position sensor and somewhere around there on the throttle body is the idle control valve. So right here we have a little system. I believe it is part of the vacuum system just because it's coming off the intake and going into the engine. Here we have part of the secondary air injection system. Some vacuum is being pulled from the air intake and going over to the secondary air injection system. Up here on the top we have a fuel pressure regulator. I'm not sure if Audi specifically designates it as a regulator, uh, more like a fuel pressure increasing pump where it increases the pressure as it goes into the rail. I believe with the direct injection it allows for higher pressures for the uh, fuel, higher fuel pressures. Right here we have the air oil separator also known as the PCV valve and here we have the oil addition port. 
Down here we have the timing chain cover. Here is the oil filter. Here's the spark plugs and the ignition coils, the fuel rail and the fuel injectors. So that kind of covers most of the uh, primary stuff here on the engine block. We uh, will uh, just show you guys around here a little bit, just show you how everything is uh, put together. We come over here, we see the alternator, and uh, you see that the AC compressor there is on the bottom with the two AC lines going in. We come over here to the right side of the engine, get you a better view of it. Here we have the air intake boot coming from the mass airflow sensor. There's the sensor coming up to the throttle body with, with the uh, position sensor and the idle air intake sensor um, probably on the bottom side. So you may have noticed that we didn't really have much uh, fluid reservoirs here. We didn't have the windshield washer or the brake reservoir. So you look at the brake module here and follow the lines back under the uh, kind of the firewall, the dash right here. You see that is where you add your brake fluid reservoir with your master cylinder underneath. Again, remember the master cylinder is always going to be located on the driver's side, at least uh, on American vehicles. And then you also have your windshield washer fluid reservoir there. So back here you see you have a good view of the transmission. If you recall from the car review video, the word quattro was written on the back of the trunk. That means four in Italian and that designates the and it's an all-wheel drive vehicle. So that's the drivetrain for the uh, this vehicle. Here we have the power steering uh, pin, rack and pinion. We come over and we look at the catalytic converter again. You see that you have the upstream oxygen sensor here before the catalytic converter and you see that it made a bend toward the exhaust. So this secondary air system, uh, at least on my 97 BMW, again German uh, style cars, I believe they all have this secondary air uh, injection system just to be able to help with the exhaust and emission problems. It basically allows the air to fully combust more inside the exhaust. It seems that there is also some type of a uh, uh, throttle here as well just to meter in the uh, secondary air as it hits the air before the catalytic converter. So here's the primary air injection system. It's kind of odd to see an air filter uh, here below kind of the surface usually they're collecting the air from the front of the grill or t over the headlights however they are collecting it uh, below the headlight and behind it so that pretty much covers it hopefully you uh, learned a little something here about the Audi Q5 engine if you uh, like this video head down to the comments and let me know if I got anything wrong please let me know as well and uh, subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching